This is Von Hoot. Yes. Why was the football stadium all cool and windy? I don't know. Because it was filled with fans. Hello and welcome to the Spiral Dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoot and this is Mrs. Von Hoot. <laughs> I don't know. It's always really difficult to introduce uh, Mrs. Von Hoot over the Magic Badger for some reason. I can't be like, wave now. <laughs> it just seems weird. Um, <laughs> fluff everywhere. Okay, so today we have a stack of raw books from the hallway as usual right now and we've got two slabs which are awesome, very exciting. So two books, first up, whoosh. Ah, Nemesis Reloaded, oh, issue one. Do we have this already? No, we don't have issue one. We've got... Uh, we we opened two the other day, like a week or two ago. Yeah, no, I, I no, what it was, I, I opened it when I was doing a live stream on Triple G's channel. Right, that makes sense. But not the first issue. This is the first issue. And uh, this book is... Fantastic. It's a little bit violent. <laughs> it's a bit dark. But yeah, it's really, really, really good. There, the, this first issue particularly just is like boom, 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 boom. Very snappy, super easy to read. I would think the other book is the same. Yeah. So another copy of the same. Which uh, I'm very chuffed to get a hold of because I loved it. Oh, it's really, really good. Let's start with this one because it's here and it's actually bagged and boarded. Yes. Yes, this is the blue book, I want to say. I think that's what it's called. It's the Virgin variant of one of the many. Um, it is a. Is it a James Tinian the Fourth book? I'm trying to remember. Let's slide it out and have a look. I'm no doubt. Yeah, it's in. Yeah. Okay, it's, so it's it's supposedly loosely based on actual government files in the U.S. revolving around alien abductions in the U.S. Okay. And it adapts those files. To, yeah, their accounts. They're like in this particular issue. I, th I think the idea, because I haven't actually read it yet is that each issue has a different account of a different abduction. Okay. So, you know, some some lady and some man are driving along in their car and they pass a cow and they get abducted <laughs> by some aliens. Who knows? I'm just I'm vamping there. It might, <laughs> might not be that. But, um... <laughs> so, <laughs> it might... I mean, this might be good. I, I remember it coming out, and there was a lot of talk about it before it came out, and then after it, there wasn't so much talk about it. This, this is very new. This is like in the last couple of weeks. Oh, okay. So, uh, these will be variants of uh, that as well, because I, I also bought the cover A. Oh, uh, okay. There's the cover A. Yeah. Interesting. You know, I, I guess the art style in it, I'm just open it a bit there, it isn't going to be for everybody. I quite like it. Yeah, so do I. But I don't know. I like that cover more than this cover as well. Just okay. the stylized yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Like I, I, I wanted to give it a go. Here's that that stuff was I was sort of interested to read, but, but more on the sort of spec it might happen sort of thing. This 
This is because it's amazing. <laughs> it's an acetate cover, which, you know, it's just, it's not quite foil, but it's just as gimmicky. It's um, shiny still. It's still shiny, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Deceased War of the Gods, issue six. Really cool. I've read Deceased War of the Gods up until issue five, I think, on the app, so I could just wash this out and uh, be happy. But um, it's really good. It's a really, really good series. I was taken aback by its sort of an alternate universe to like the main DC universe, so it's not canon to all of it, sort of like an Elseworlds type thing. Um, but essentially, like a sort of a technological virus has turned everybody into sort of zombies, but not quite zombies. Every, everybody dies. It's just it's, <laughs> it's really good. Really like it. And that is a flames cover. Love it. Love it. Like for some reason, they've sent one single issue of Grim issue six. We have lots. I'm pretty sure I've got three copies of this. At least. At least. I picked up two from the comic book shop today. <laughs> yeah. Why We've got I lots want... of it. If anyone wants Grim, just let us know. <laughs> We've got loads. Just loads of it. <laughs> it's just one book. It is. Yes. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, issue seven. Um, the conclusion to the Dark Crisis story. And it's not bad. You know, I, I, I love the build up to the the issue rather than the issue but it was yeah it's fine it wasn't it wasn't bad it was cool but... this is the same series that we got the um like shiny dogs of last time yeah probably we've got we've got we've got a bunch of dark crisis to do. but i ordered this from slab city comics on their ebay every sunday they have really low prices yeah. and loads of stuff ending you, and if you uh, go in Thank quick. You. So, I got these for you. Oh! Yes. Hey! <laughs> Couldn't quite see them there with the light shining on. Five Girls. Issue one. Um, two things you need to know about Mrs. Von Hoot. She likes really cool artwork with kick ass ladies. And um, also, she loves dinosaurs. So. <laughs> Dinosaurs are. That is really cool. So that is the regular, and that is the Virgin variant from AWA Upshot. No okay. idea what what it's like, but I mean, it's got a, a, you know an awesome <laughs> you can't T Rex. Really go wrong, can you? It's a, a T Rex lady cover. If that is a thing. <laughs> the Virgin variant is really nice as well. And this is in good shape. Yeah! So, these are very new books. Very, very new books. And uh, once I show you, you'll all be like, ah, oh, yeah, I saw those. <laughs> but I wasn't dumb enough to pay for them. Um, but I was! So, uh, yeah, very excited for these. Ooh, which one do we do first? Let's go with this one. Whoosh! In a 9.8 Action Comics 1051, this is the Virgin Edition, and it is a beautiful, a beautiful whoosh. Uh, yes. Ooh, there's a nasty bit of, of a ring there. Oh yeah. That's a shame. Don't know whether you'll ever see it in the light there's a Newton ring just up here. You, you, can, you can't see it from certain animals, but you can from others. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's annoying. I will, I will say that because oh, this, this book is not cheap. All the copies they had of it sold out in uh, a day. Right. So this one stuck around for a bit longer, but I think it's sold out now because this is the trade dress version <laughs> which uh, is awesome krscomics.com exclusive um, 
I got it from Sad Lemon Comics, which is, I think, their partner in the UK. Right. So. <laughs> Joint exclusive. Yeah. So, together, they are a rather fetching pair. Yeah, so very cool. Really love these. It's it's that classic, classic pose. I am I'm annoyed about this. These ring because it's like for my money, that's not a small Newton ring. Yeah, that's really not good. Uh, I've just had it pointed out like it's not just here. It's actually all the way down here. Like that's that's the whole of this side of the slab. That really isn't cool. Might have to send that away for reholdering at some point. We'll see. It's really frustrating is this one because this is the one that's hard to get now. Right. Like, whereas this one, this one is hard to get, but it's not impossible. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, it is really, really lovely. There's nothing wrong with this one, just the, the pose on that one. It's yeah, it's favorite. really cool. I mean, Power Girl is iconic and yeah. Cool. Love them. Very nice. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Comment down below. Tell us. Tell tell me what you think of my lovely pair of slabs. And uh, we'll catch you next time in the spiral dimension. Peace. From the spiral dimension.